Max Sejo Animations Thermal Overload Relay Now your electrical motor is running and then suddenly it turns off. This is because of Thermal Overload Relay. Let's explore Overload Relay Operation. A thermal overload relay is a device that protects electrical systems from overheating by switching off the power supply to the motor when current exceeds certain limit. It is based on the principle of thermal sensing, which monitors the heat generated by the motor during its operation. Thermal overload relay can be manually or automatically reset. This depends on the application and the type of overload. Note that they are commonly used in combination with contactors to control and start motors in various industries. Check out our video on contactor to know more about contactors. Some of the common and important features are ampere range setting, inside thermal overload relay it contains a copper coil, which is attached to the terminal of overload relay, and also it is attached to the bimetallic strip. This range setting is the value of current that the relay will trip when it exceeds a certain limit. The ampere range setting depends on the type and size of the motor the voltage and frequency of the power supply, and the application requirements. This copper coil attached to the bimetallic strip and thermal overload relay is a common component of a bimetallic thermometer, which is a device that measures temperature by using the difference in thermal expansion of the two metals in the bimetallic strip. Therefore, the copper acts as a heat sink that absorbs the heat from the terminals of the overload relay being used and transfers it to the bimetallic strip. The bimetallic strip bends depending on the temperature change. When the bimetallic strip, it moves the link contact, which then switch normally close to open circuit, hence disconnecting the supply of power to the motor. But how can it achieve this? Understanding how overload relay protect the electrical system requires us to go to a physical and practical point of view. In this experiment, we have animated practical installation of a direct online DOL, three-phase induction motor in forward motion. During this installation of the motor, we must list some of our requirements. That are circuit breaker, contactor, thermal overload relay, three-phase induction, AC motor, and stop-start push button. We must also have schematic diagram of both power circuit and control circuit to help in guiding in our installation. For power circuit DOL, we can see all the three phases are connected in their corresponding phases in three-phase circuit breaker, three-phase contactor, and also three-phase overload relay. And as for the control circuit, we can see that we should have a separate single-pole circuit breaker with ratings slightly below the circuit breaker connected to the power circuit. Note that the rating of control circuit breaker depends on the rating of the contactor coil, while the rating of the circuit breaker used for power circuit depends on the rating of the motor. Then, the control wire conductor, connected from the single pole circuit breaker, passes through overload relay normally closed contacts. Then, to the normally closed contacts of push button, that is stop push button terminal one. Then, from terminal two of stop push button, we then connect them in two ways. One is connected to the normally open of push button terminal three and the other to normally open of the contactor terminal 13. 
Then Terminal 4 of Start Push Button is connected to Terminal 14, which is looped to Terminal A1 of the contactor coil. Terminal A2 of the contactor coil is connected to the neutral. The work of A1 and A2 is provide currents to the coil for magnetization. Now we have a two-way that a current can follow. Now let's understand this diagram better using a skeleton representation of this animation. Make sure you have watch our video on circuit breaker and contactor operation. After arranging our circuit according to our schematic guide, we can now start. Switching on the power of the circuit breaker of the control circuit, provide power to the control circuit. The power first reach normally closed terminals of the overload relay, then to the normally closed of the push button that is stop push button. Pressing start push button enables a current to reach the coil of the contactor. First I have used one-way flow of current here to demonstrate the importance of push button. Current from terminal 2 of stop push button to terminal 3 of start push button, then from terminal 4 to terminal 14 of normally open contactor, which is looped to A1 of the contactor coil. Push button is a simple switch that when pressed completes an electrical circuit allowing to flow once and then stops. In this first demonstration, I have used traditional toggle switch that stay in a set position when pressed. But for safety and control, precision, push buttons ensures that the electrical connection to the contactor's coil is only established while the button is pressed. This prevents unintentional or prolonged activation of the motor, reducing the risk of accidents or damage to the motor. Full video of push button operation will be in a separate video soon. So this circuit with our connection, pressing start button, current reaches the coil, the magnetism builds around the coil, which attracts the moving contacts or armature. This open and closes the contacts. As you can see, normally closed become open while normally open becomes closed. Hence the current has two pathways. But remember that push button allows current to pass. Once when pressed, then become open contact. But even when push button become open after pressed, the flow of current will continue to the coil. That is from terminal two of push button to terminal 13, remember normally open 13 and 14 become closed, hence current reaches A1 of the coil. But once the stop push button is pressed, it will stop the current flow to the coil. But remember that these wires were first connected to normally close of the thermal overload relay. As you have said before that if the overload occurs, the bimetallic strip bends moving the contacts that normally close opens and normally open closes. This helps in the motor protection against overload that circuit breaker could not sustain. For example, we have three-phase power supply connected to the power terminals of the contactors, then through the overload relay. In overload relay, the input power terminal and output power terminal is the same. Nowhere is separated. Contactor is only contains separated power contacts and therefore control circuit being connected to the overload relay first give us a easier way to turn off power. So we have overcurrent. The bimetallic strip will bend, moving the link contact, which opens the normally closed contact in the thermal overload relay. Consequently, the contactor coil is de-energized. This disconnect the three-phase power terminals in the contactor, hence protect the electrical device under function. That is how overload relay protect electrical systems with the help of contactor. Our next video we will talk about teamers. I found that video necessary for industrial installations. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, kindly subscribe, like and share. Also comment if necessary, also watch our previous videos. 
I am also available as a freelancer on product design, animation, architectural visualization. So if you have any task, kindly support me. My email is in the link in the description. See you in the next one.